Yo, what's up everyone? Today's video, we're gonna talk about Zodiacs. Yes, I know, it's not a pendulum video, I know that. But pure Zodiacs are an absolute threat to this format and this meta. And it's one of the most played and one of the best decks this format. So if you guys are ready for the video, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. I'm also gonna do a deck profile on the PPG winner of who won the Zodiac, uh, won with Zodiacs at the PPG Regional. I'm also gonna showcase my version of Zodiacs, which is a Go Second Zodiac deck. So if you guys are ready for the video, smash the subscribe button. Don't forget to sign up on Patreon, where on Patreon we put supplemental duels of every YouTube video I'll ever post moving forward on Patreon. If you want to see Zodiac duels, sign up on Patreon. And check out TripGaming.com if you guys want the best play match in the game. And with that being said, let's get started, boys, on the amazing Zodiac deck profiles. Let's go, boys! Zodiac time! <laughs> Zodiac and Pendulum share one thing in common, and that is that they are eternal, that they will never die. Pendulums will never die, and clearly, neither will Zodiacs, as evidenced by Anthony Colon, who has just won the PPG last week. Uh, he won the PPG last week, uh, utilizing this exact list. Now, for this video, I'm not just going to talk about his deck, but also my version of Zodiac, which I think is the best version of Zodiac in the world. Which I'm going to showcase later in this video, so stay tuned until the end of the video so you can see that. And uh, what his version is, is more like, you know, normal Zodiac, like control Zodiac. Uh, he has lots of different uh, options depending on what type of deck he's facing. He has these for background decks, he has hand traps, he even has some strike in there. A uh, good difference to everything. And the whole game plan here is obviously to control your opponent, draw Zodiac cards and go into Zugalaga Laga Zeus or whatever this card is. And this card is absolutely busted in Zodiac because you can make this card with six materials on top and always have it resolved. So this card is uh, absolutely insane. My version of Zodiac is much different. Before we get into mine, I'm going to discuss uh, Anthony Colon's version here super quick. I'm going to showcase you guys mine as well as the common tutorial of mine which requires a common tutorial. And then, uh, uh, yeah, the common tutorial of mine is Draw Mystic Mine. It's a, mine is Go Second, Mist Go Second Zodiac. Go second Zodiac with a bunch of board wipes. I'll explain that one later. As for now, we're gonna talk about this one, but stay tuned to the end so you can see mine as well. So, uh, the one that won the PPG uh, utilized one rat, three Thorough Blade, three up to three Ram Ram. Uh, in my opinion, the, the, everyone plays this ratio, okay? Everyone plays 10 Zodiacs here with the triple tanky and the barrage. Everyone plays those 14 Zodiacs with the Monster Reborn kind of counting as a 15th. I'm not disrespecting Anthony whatsoever. He won with this shit, so he knows uh, how, how well it was for him. But that, in my opinion, you could draw too many Zodiacs. I don't like that. Uh, I'm not going to count Barrage and Reborn in there because they're extenders. But you now have 13 normal summons. And imagine playing a deck with 13 normal summons. It's obviously too much. Yes, Thorough Blade could discard the extra one. But that's still like, to me, that's just too much Zodiacs, man. It's, it's just way too many Zodiacs. Uh, if Thorough Blade wasn't a card, I'd probably play f 6 Zodiacs. But obviously, you need to open one. Obviously, you need to open one or else you can't play. So that was the uh, reasoning behind playing 13. Uh, well, 15 if you count Barrage, 14 count Barrage. So, uh, my version though, I play uh, less than less than that. I'm also blind seconding, so you're allowed to have the 6th card. If you're blind seconding with Zodiac, which is a very good deck to blind second, thanks to the power of Zeus, then uh, I recommend playing a lot less than this, because you have your 6th card, which that percentage mathematically uh, gives you like an upside, uh, uh, upwards of 10% extra chance of drawing a Zodiac monster. I personally think that the correct number going second is around 10 or 11 Zodiacs. Uh, going first, probably like 13, 12, 12. Uh, like you're, you're guaranteed to see one. And if you don't see one, you're going to have cards like Desires or Plus cards. So you're kind of playing a 37 card deck here because Desires just like go through the deck. He also opted to play Don Rastler and Alpha, both going second cards. Uh, Alpha, I think, is very overrated in my opinion, but it's put in work. I saw the PPG, he destroyed people with Alpha, and in my version I don't play Alpha, uh, but Alpha is by itself, I thought it was underrated, or I, th I thought it was overrated, but it's not, Alpha is actually a fantastic card, and puts in work, kind of like another Dino Wrestler at 3000 attack, so it's actually a very good card. 
Uh, he plays 12 hand traps, 3 Nibir, 3 actually Veil, 3 Imperm. I think that these 12 hand traps are the best 12 hand traps to play right now. I understand that uh, what people don't understand about Gamma, I think Gamma is the most overrated card and uh, overrated hand trap in Yu Gi Oh! You're forced to play a brick for one, and for two, going first, it's dead. Unless you absolutely brick. So, unless your hand is shit, uh, you have Gamma. So, opening Gamma going first kind of just says, all right, my deck is shit. I'm always going to brick and have no monsters. Go ahead, your turn, bro. Gamma is absolutely ass. Going second, yes, is nice when it resolves. Of course, Gamma is nice when it resolves. But, I mean, it's not only about going first or second. It's just dead all the time. I don't like it. Avarice, I love it. Reborn, I love it. And Barrage, I love it. The extenders, for, for in case you get seals or something. Uh, Avarice and Desires, the plus ones. Avarice recycles the whole engine as well as Dryden. And allows you to play through Nibiru like no problem with if you have Avarice in your deck. Uh, Triple Tanky. And he played one Duster and caught Double Cosmic Cyclone, which I'm going to say is a meta call. Uh, I didn't see all his duels, but I only saw the ones that was shown. And the ones that are shown, Cosmic and Fella Dust, I don't, he didn't play any, like, trap decks. But, of course, the Cosmic and Fella Duster uh, could put in work. He wanted to have something against Bakker decks that seemed like he didn't want to uh, lose to Mystic Mind as well, perhaps. Triple Imperm and Triple Strike. Strike's interesting. I actually love Solemn Strike. Solemn Strike uh, is even better going second than it is going first. Because you dried it one card and you strike... Uh, like you, let's say for example you're uh, going up against a dragon link board, you outed the seal by uh, whichever means uh, you you think. Let's say whatever means whatever. Then they have let's say savage hit carry or whatever it is. Uh, you just dried in one of the cards, and then when they try and negate the dried in pop, you strike that. So you clear two cards that are unresponsive. You cannot respond to it. So that's really cool. He has tr six hand traps to go in as well. Six cards for back row, so making nine in total and triple judgment. The actual deck was two of everything with one Hammer Kong. Plays one Drill Driver Vespa Sonato, which is 2100 piercing damage for those who don't know. Double Zeus, one Infinite Track, and then the Selene Axis Code Fiber Engine because he plays lots of hand traps. So, uh, congratulations to Anthony. He absolutely clapped everyone at the PPG. Now, I'm going to show you guys my list, which is like very different than this. Extremely different. And But before we go into it, I'm going to show you guys first the comment tutorial of the deck. So before you guys actually see my comment tutorial, it's blind second. So I want you guys to witness the absolute greatness of my Zodiac deck right here. Y'all ready for this? You're going second, so you draw a second. Look at this. You have four absolute board wipes. Whether well, the Barrage was there or not, it doesn't matter. You, the whole idea that I play with my deck with is not control whatsoever. It is I destroy my opponent's board. I don't care what my board is. My opponent could be playing Infernoble. He could be playing Dragonling. I don't care. He could take out one card. What's he going to take out? Dark Hole. Then I drop what's Mystic Mind and Talents his ass into Oblivion. Same idea with Dragonling. And then after you clear his entire board, your game plan is to either drop mine. And if you don't drop mine, you normal summon a Zodiac. And you go into a Zeus for four materials or six materials. Well, for six materials, if you have Avarice, I, I think it's probably best for two to play around the Bureau. But uh, and then you just slowly control with that. For this version, you, after you clear the board, you keep the droplet. And that's what I love about this, as well as Prank Kids. I like Prank Kids go second, because Prank Kids, if you just normal summon any Prank Kid, you have your full combo. So why don't you just clear your opponent's board, and then freely play. I love this idea of going second Yu-Gi-Oh right now. There are too many broken cards that just destroy the meta. Like, even Dark Hole, it's so underrated. Your opponent will negate the Mystic Mind and the Talents, and you just Dark Hole their ass. And then you go into Zeus, and then attack directly. End up Zeus for 6 materials. Laugh and chill and look at them cry and then you destroy them. I, I love it This is another just another test time to show you guys what I'm talking about here the same idea dark hole uh, They're gonna negate dark hole with same idea here. So you're facing against uh, dragon link, right? So you normal know thorough blade they'll bounce it right away with seal no problem dark hole They'll negate that with hero. No problem activate talents. They'll negate that with, Sav with savage. No problem activate barrage Go for this. And it didn't need to be Barrage. It could have been a Regeki, which we just drew with Thoroughblade. It could have been a Dark Hole. It could have been a Lightning Storm. It could have been literally, virtually any card in your deck. That's what I love about the way I built this Zodiac deck, where you just have so many ways to clear cards. You have built in so many draw power in the deck with Avarice, Desire, Talents, Upstart, and Thoroughblade. So you're just drawing into all your board wipes. And now after your, your opponent can't activate anything, you just attack for 3200 and not drop a fat Zeus with six materials. But you'll poly first before you activate the Zeus, and then like it just it's so good. So good. I love it. And I'm show you guys my deck profile now. This is my version of Zodiac. Go second with a bunch of board wipes. I don't play Alpha or Dino Wrestler for a specific reason. And that they only clear one card out of the combo deck, the main combo deck. So two cards, one or two cards, right? Uh, I don't like the fact that you could seal the Alpha. And I understand Alpha and Dino Wrestler are good going second, but Dark Hole just accomplishes way more than all of them. I understand Herald can negate it. 
but that's the whole idea. I want to play cards that must be negated from my opponent, and then you just drop a board wipe and clear the entire board. I don't want to deal with the board. Uh, with the combination of all the board wipes you're playing, as well as Zeus, you're clearing every single witch board. I do not want to enter my battle phase with Dino Wrestler or with Alpha. That is not an option. I do not want to enter my battle phase with them. I'm ending on Zeus. So uh, the, a game plan here of ending on Zeus no matter what uh, means that Dino Wrestler and Alpha are just uh, get rid of one interruption. Hence the way I play this deck is just a bunch of bunch of bunch of bunch of board wipes, 10,000 draw cards, Thorough Blade to draw into the mall. I'm only playing, I don't care about Infinite Track Mega Clops. It, it, I probably shouldn't even play it to be honest. I never go into it ever. I just very simply clear the board and go into Zeus and tell them have a nice day and you auto win. Uh, what the hell is any deck doing, any combo deck? Now when you, uh, after they see all these board wipes and your opponent is going to think this guy thinks, <laughs> this guy thinks he's going to Mystic Mine and Dark Roller me with 25 board wipes in his main deck, I'm going to make him go first. That's when I side up and put in all trap cards and all these trap cards uh, are destroy them. Now in basic control deck, you have Trap Trick and dust Storm Duster to take over all the board wipes for spell and trap board wipes. So it's the whole idea that no matter what type of deck, whether it's com combo or control, post side deck, you destroy every one of them. I had a blast playing this, and in fact, I have lots of videos on my Patreon showcasing Go Second Zoo absolutely obliterating the meta. Uh, so go check that out on Patreon if you guys want to see it. If you guys got this far, smash the subscribe button, and don't forget to be get a beautiful trip game play my tripgaming.com. Only limited time, only $30 for a cloth play, man. Get it ASAP. Also, if you guys want free, well, it's not free, it's $30. One-on-one, -on -one, two-hour pendulum coaching. Sign up down below on PayPal and for a limited time because I'm going to Mexico soon. I won't be able to do it for you guys. So go do that below. And if you guys want any discounts on Yu-Gi-Oh cards and products and mats, go down below in the description and check it out. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Yeah,